This is St. Olaf's Hospital in Trondheim in Norway. It's the regional hospital for the Mid-Norway Health Region, serving some 650,000 people. St. Olaf's is undergoing a massive $1.5 billion redevelopment, exploiting the latest thinking in hospital design, infrastructure and technology. The development is phased over the next 10 years, allowing for the progressive replacement of the entire hospital campus over an area in excess of 200,000 square meters. The whole environment is focused on the patient, for example with art used to enrich and cheer the hospital. We believe that to create uh, environments for the patient that is stressed down and uh, where we use a lot of the elements that we have in normal houses and pe uh, public buildings like wood and daylight and easy wayfinding, it's a way, our way to take care of the patient. New technology, such as the automatic guided vehicles, deliver supplies to the ward, supported by the wireless network. And pneumatic tubes, bringing samples from the ward to the lab, quickly and efficiently. We're investing so much in ICT in this project to support St. Olav's vision of being a leading university hospital with the focus on the patient. The patient will gain two advantages in the new university hospital. One is that they themselves will receive a patient terminal that they can use to entertain themselves and to get information about their own ailment and useful background information. The other is that patients will experience an increased efficiency in the employee's work and that is more and more of the processing will be performed by ICT and not on paper. A digital hospital is what we think a new concept which utilizes IT for the benefit of the patient and the patient treatment. Today, again, the use of IT is rather fragmented in healthcare as well as in many other public sector areas. It's a digital hospital, it's an architectural concept which allows us to network everything with everything using IP technology. It's a framework which allows us to plug and play with different components, an environment which is totally connected, fully integrated, and allows data exchange across any organizational boundaries. The Medical Grade Network is a framework helping our customers design and implement an intelligent information network in healthcare, ensuring that all the requirements of a medical environment and applications is satisfied. The, the digital communication system at St. Olaf Hospital can be described almost by one thing alone, and that IP. There's share IP everywhere, even television, radio, music, data flow, telephony, everything is IP-based. The School Medical Grade Network utilizes IP as the primary path for all data, voice and images, enabling deployment of productivity, communications and collaboration applications. For example, in the area of convergence, in their operating theaters, CLF uses the IP network to give students access to see their surgery real-time from the PC. This applies sending high-definition video over the network. For the students, this gives them a better learning environment. For the doctors and the midwives working here, it's very convenient with the handheld telephones. I have one somewhere here in my pocket, an IP phone which we all go around with our personal phone. So if I need to talk to a midwife responsible for a particular room, I just look it up and call. My stay here has been wonderful. The staff have been great. And having my own room has made such a difference. It's almost like being at home. And I really like being able to watch television, make phone calls and get on the internet. And of course, call a member of staff if I need to. The total planned investment on the new St. Olaf's Hospital is in the range of 10 to 12 billion Norwegian kroner, which is clearly substantial, particularly for a small country like Norway. But to put in some kind of perspective, it's actually only the equivalent of two years' operating costs spread over the duration of the project, with ICT accounting for about 6% of the total. And our key principle underlining that investment is our goal of delivering excellence in every aspect of patient care, 
now and for the future, where ICT forms a crucial building block in the achievement of that objective. <laughs>